Hey guys, so we got the tractor back to the house here and I went to do a little bit of snow clearing here on the property and I actually sucked up a hockey puck and uh, might have done some damage or maybe it, something was already going on and the hockey puck was just the straw that broke the camel's back as they say. So I'll show you what's going on here. The, uh, the augers are moving independently of the uh, second stage fan which is not ideal so i have a feeling that this gearbox right here is uh probably beat so we're going to be tearing into this thing tomorrow uh this garage is heated so we're just going to let the uh cement pad warm this up overnight and uh melt all the snow and we'll tear into it and find out what's going on but uh chances are i'm going to be putting a loader back on that tomorrow as well and uh, I've got a plow that I can put on the loader. Maybe I'll show that to you guys as well in the next video. Alright, so we got the snow blower up on the table now. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the shear bolts from here, the other one from here, and the second stage shear bolt from back here. They should be all covered in grease. So that's the second stage shear bolt. It was all three of them that went last time, wasn't it? Uh, two of them. That, that, uh, these. that collar is keyed to the shaft right here with a woodruff key and it drives the, drives the fan through that. But the actual input shaft for the whole thing actually goes all the way through the fan. Oh, so that's just a casing. Yep. Same as these. Yep. Now that should just, they should be able to spin independent of each other. If we could ever get that to let go. See how it just, if that happens, that's how you know that your second stage fan shear bolt is, uh, is gone, which did happen to me earlier. I've put a few shear bolts in this thing, so, so we need the, you never know.
you know, grab over that corner there today, tear that shelf apart and put that in. I know. <clears throat> um, so now it should come out? No, we still have to undo either the top, oh, yeah. the top casing bolts or there's a bracket. Well, I'll just do um, these two. Yep, right. probably. Got to take those two bolts out next. Spline holy. Yeah. All right. Hey. Okay, so we have the the augers out of the front, and it's pretty easy. Two big bolts on each side, a bracket that picks up on these two bolt holes in the top of the gearbox housing, and one bolt here. This is what uh, engages your second sta second stage fan to your drive shaft. Let's go outside and have a look at what's left over. This looks pretty sad. Oh well, not to worry. You cannot expect to not have breakdowns. It's gonna happen. Well, it looks like it's it, unless it's a metric or standard, and it's... I got it. It's amazing. Tip that shaft up for me. All the way. Probably pointing towards the car. One. There, so I can get at this. Unless they, they may actually be like into her pointed and just into her. Yeah. Yeah, I think they are. All right, so I'm at a bit of an impasse taking apart this uh, Kubota BX2755 HD front mount snowblower. So far, it's been basic tools, ratchets, wrenches, no problem. Uh, there's a couple of uh, bearings that I need to pull off of the shaft. I don't have any pullers, so I'm going to order some. Uh, it's not going to be a, a single-use tool for me. I've got a, another uh, standard snowblower with a gas motor that I need to replace the friction disc and the drive wheel in. And uh, I need bearing pullers for that too, so why not take the opportunity to pick something up that uh, could be handy in the future. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, I have a feeling that it's definitely the gearbox that's giving me the issue. Um, doesn't really make much sense for it to be anything else. Uh, I did pull out my manual from Kubota and had a look at uh, the parts that are available. And to my surprise, the actual gear set is not available through Kubota. They won't sell it. There's no part numbers. There's nothing. Uh, I'll throw up a picture of that. It's a little bit disappointing. I mean, 
you buy something like this, you expect to be able to service it. Uh, I personally feel that every nut and bolt on that machine should be replaceable. And perhaps if I crack open the old gearbox, there will be a number stamped on them on those parts and I can order them from uh, somebody else. But for now, I'm just going to order a new gearbox from Kubota. And I have, and it's back ordered by three weeks. So that's where we are. And uh, we will continue this repair right now. All right, so I ordered those special tools. They have come in. Let's have a look and see if we think these are gonna do the trick. Definitely look like they'll work. Let's uh, get the other camera set up and uh, see what we can do. <coughs> What was that? 11? 11.16, yep. I don't know how much of that you were able to get from that other camera, but uh, we appear to have successfully taken this thing apart. There's the gearbox there. I've got everything off of it except that shear plate. I have to get a couple lengths of threaded rod and I can use the same pullers to yank that thing right off the end of that spline. Um, yeah. Well, we got the new gearbox, but now I got to get that collar off. So I got my 20 ton press here, but it's been a while since I've used it and it was left in the up, upright position. That's kind of hard to see. Sorry guys. The jack was left out a little bit and the cylinder's rusty. So I'm just gonna get uh, some sandpaper and try to clean that up a little bit first.
probably all late now, but some of this is a bit You gotta get that key out of there. There it is. Clean it up on some sandpaper. I'm just cleaning this up on some sandpaper so it fits in there a little easier. Try to remove as much of the corrosion as we can so that we have as little resistance as possible when we're pushing this back on, pushing the collar back onto the new shaft. And it does, it just sits right down in there, no problem at all. Slide it back and forth by hand. That's what you're looking for. It's just a, just a locating dowel to prevent that collar from rotating on the shaft. So this prevents the collar from rotating on the shaft. And that hole right there is a locating hole to make sure that the collar is located at the correct position this way on the shaft. They work together to stay at the correct location. Okay, now clean up this collar as best I can. Okay, do you have any never sees? Anyone? Can of never sees kicking around this head? Oh, really? Oh, did I have it over here already? Oh, I had it. Oh. Um, no, it's right there. Oh, Makes a good one to brace up. Oh, I don't care. Do you have any orange never sees? No. That would match my tractor so much better. I got green for John Deere. Uh, I'm definitely not putting green never sees on this tractor. John Deere. What is that even? That's the kind of snow blowers that don't break, people are saying. Right. And of course, when we slide it on, we have to slide it on this way, not this way, because this is the surface here that mates up with, if I can find it kicking around here, second stage fan. Just like that. All right. I'm gonna put some never sees on the inside of this sleeve. Not like I'm planning to have it apart again, but you never know. Oops. 
it was put together like this the first time, I wouldn't have had to use a press. What? Okay. That's awesome. That's it. It's on. I thought I was going to have to press that back on. What? Press it. I said I thought I was going to have to press that back on, but it just went. Just lay it on. Yep. Cool. Now, do you remember which one of these bolts was for <laughs> locating that thing? No. Probably not, eh? It's probably only going to be... Well, those came out of the old casing. One, two, three, four. And shorter ones on top. Because they double up with that bracket, that hanger bracket. Um, it's got to be this one. activated air compressor. I just need to blow off this tire, I thought. The voice activated air compressor? <laughs> That's it. Well, doesn't everybody have one of that? Yeah. As soon as you want to talk on camera. There. Number two tire done. Need to invest in a 3,000 square foot heated shop. Flat washers are probably cheaper though. Okay. That bit's done. Never sees. Might wash off right away, but might last. Never hurts.
Okay, throw that shear pin back in there, the small one. metric. Did pick up some oil for this too. 80W90, I want to say. Right. I'm ready to put the shaft in. Mm. After I look at pictures of my phone to make sure that it's going together right. I want it to pull snow into the middle, not push snow to the outsides. <laughs> not that that would happen or not, I don't know. But... Just suck it in, blow it in your face. <laughs> That's right. Perfect. This is working great. I'm going to run it back and forth on a piece of... Uh, Whatever this stuff's called, sandpaper. <laughs> Just to make sure there's no crap left on it. going. 23 and a quarter. It's got to go a lot more. So, look and see how far the the keyway is gone. It's still it's just barely hanging out on that side, so it is moving, but it hasn't gone in all the way. We're at 23 and three quarters, and 25 and a half.
just under so. 24 and three quarters. Yeah, 24 and five eighths heavy. 24 and five eighths heavy. <laughs> in there in the hole first. Can you hold that up? Yeah. So we're done with these chisels? Yep. Mm -hmm. I hope so. that shaft was even centered in that in the same spot before you know what I mean yeah so maybe we should just put one Allen one of these things in and just kind of center it for the time being if you have if it wasn't centered probably just use it and snow blowing it and you know beating it up a little bit would probably center itself do you have Loctite at this in your garage? Yeah. Do you have any Loctite in here? Should have just bought new bearings for this too. They're only like ten bucks. However, do it. So, yeah. This thing has a light on it too. I think. Should have been using that the whole time. This one definitely, mm -hmm. this one will definitely need a bit of a smack in order to get back to the spot that it was on before. There. It's exactly, exactly the spot that it was at before. Exactly. I'm just gonna put one of these in for now just so that we can dry fit this thing. You wanna do what? I'm just gonna, well, I wanna dry fit. Well, I mean, well, we, we gotta put the shafts on. <laughs> we've definitely screwed this up completely. Why? Because we don't even have the flights on. Yeah, I know. But at least you can see if it's gonna yeah. slide in or not. Right, but I mean. Well, duh. yeah. What? Well, if you put them back on exactly the same way you just did, 
With the flights on. Yeah, but I'm saying right now they're not on. So those bearings are going to have to come back off. Yeah. Yeah. Slides in here, and this slides in there. And we're laughing. Yeah. We're crying. Turn this. Here we go. It went. Just need a bit of convincing. going to be fine. And uh, as long as that's in there, right? Yeah. Are all up. I mean, it's not a spaceship, right? No, it's worse. <laughs> okay. Cool. Right. Take it out and do it again? Yeah. Cement. Hmm? I said, watch this stuff will be like cement. Well, it's like LD, isn't it? I have no idea. You ain't never getting it out. Okay, so we gotta make sure that collar goes in. As soon as you see the, the shaft kind of appear under it. Are you going to do this outside? If we have a tool and we can hire If you're going to do the set screw thing, find the right tool right now while it's out. Sure. So we know which. I feel like that's years of experience talking. Those holes right there are a little bit elongated. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that or not, so I might order another plate. Just like that? Yeah. Of course, I threw it right on top of the wrench, did I? Oh, it's up here. Got it. on them? Yep, lock washer.
Ready to Mm-hmm. We believe now we She's back together. The bearings are indexed on the shaft in exactly the same spot because you could see the marks where the old set screws turned into. I never did measure the distance between the side of here and the end of this output shaft, so I don't know for sure if the gearbox is located exactly where it was on the spline before. Um, it seemed to slide in there okay, and it did up with relatively no problems. And now we are going to drain the oil out of this gearbox. Back together. It's got new shear pins. Got the loader back off and hooked this thing back up. Let's uh, give this thing a spin. Moment of truth. 
go find some snow. That's better. It's like he has no faith in the Kubota now. Why? Why are you using that one? Well, that'll do it for the first repair video, I guess. Thank goodness. I'll put this thing to bed for the night, let it dry off. I'm gonna pressure wash it and uh, Give it a coat of paint, I guess. Got all the oil changed in the reduction gearbox. It came with oil from the factory, the new gearbox. That's good. And uh, I've got everything else greased up on the drive line there, and that's really good because we are expecting a pretty good snowstorm overnight, I think. So maybe we'll get some video of me using this thing before I get the chance to paint it, but whatever. That's awesome. I'm happy. It was expensive, but it's done. All right, thanks for hanging out. We'll talk to you later.